Hey everybody, we are out in the cow field as you can see. We have just got in some awesome, what we are hoping and Lane is really hoping, is going to be time saving devices. I wish I was ingenious enough to think of this idea. I'm not, sadly to say. But we did get these from Gallagher. They are called a tumble wheel and they are going to take the place of all the pigtail stakes or ring top post or whatever you have what all we have and it's going to make this moving paddocks moving the cows easier you don't have to sit there and pull them up every time put them all back in that's just a big repetitive process in the way we've got our set up because we've only got certain wires that we just keep moving down the field as the cows move the wires move and it's every time you'll put 10 to 12 posts in on each run so you got to go and pull them all up that's time consuming we're trying to speed this process up so i saw these tumble wheels on gallagher i ordered some we got them in the other day started putting them together at first putting them together it's kind of like a head scratching they didn't have any instructions really um not very good instructions but what it did have i was able to put one together and i think i found out a little bit faster way of putting them together so I'm gonna run through that real quick with you and we'll get started so when you order one this right here is what they come in this is one tumble wheel just like a wheel this is the main hub we'll empty the packet out this is the little bit of instructions they have with it but I'm gonna make it very simple Set the straight pipe, straight on both ends, set it off to the side. All right, got all of our pieces laid out there. You'll take the metal ring, find the slot in it, and find the slot in that. You'll turn this in there where these line up. I mean, self-explanatory. Then line the slot up. Put your first one in there. And one thing that I end up doing, made it a whole lot faster, on these little clips, they have to go all the way down in there. It's a pair of pliers. Snap it down in there. All right, now that I've got two in there, stand it up. It's just really quick. Boom, all of them are in. Now, I don't know if it would just happen to be the one that I tried different, but the first one I tried, I tried putting this in from this side. The one before it, I put in from this side. It worked better. The next one I put in, I put it from this side and it worked better. So I just started. No, never mind. I'm thinking wrong there. Other side. This side. Put it in. Get it on something solid. Push down. Same thing. You line the gap up on this pole with the gap in the hub. Put it about middle ways. And then these go on the ends. It's got a gap in it also. Line the gap up. Tap it on there. Line the gap up, and I don't necessarily think lining the gap up, putting them on is a, is a must, because after you're done, right here, after you're done and you've run your wire and you've got your wire set in there, you take that, now you twist it around, now the wire can't pop out. So here's how easy they go together. Separate that out. Put the wire in there. Put the wire in there. Twist that. 
twist that. Now they're going to stand up. When you're ready to move, of course, you'll make your wire where it's not hot. After that, all you got to do is push it. And if you can see down there, you can make these things move very easily. As you can see, once they're used to moving, <laughs> it is no trouble to move them at all. One thing I wanted to point out is this hot wire. Look at the difference on this side of the paddock. There's the hot wire running straight down through there. That's fresh, lush, green grass. Yes, they reach under it and get to this side, but they do not cross a single strand hot wire. And they're hungry. We're, we are forcing them to eat out here the undesirable grasses that they don't really want to eat. Yes, there is that brush sedge out here, uh, or broom sedge. They don't really want to eat it. Some of it they've nipped the tops out of, but very little of it. I was really trying to force them to eat a lot of that. That That's less I got a bush hog. It is still green grasses. Don't have a lot of uh, nutritional value to it but I'm trying to get it cleaned up. So we've actually been pinning them up even in smaller paddocks than normal, just trying to get them to clean up some more of this undesirable grass. That way it don't sit here all winter long. After we do this whole field all the way back there to the woods, I'll come in here and I'll bush hog this off clean. And uh, that way next spring, I don't figure it's gonna grow up much more between now and winter. Uh, but that way by next spring, They'll have a fresh, clean paddock to start with our new spring grasses coming up. I just don't, I don't like that uh, broom sedge being out there. But as these cows were coming through, we noticed one of our cows was off by herself in the woods. It's one of the last ones to calve. So we are fixing to go see if she has dropped a baby. One question that we always was asking everybody when we were starting getting ready to do this, how big of a paddock do I need for X number of cows? And same answer kept coming up then as what I will say now, it depends. It depends on your ground, depends on the time of year, and it depends on what all grasses that you got. So time of year, spring, of course, you're gonna get that lush spring, fast growing grass that time of year that, I mean, you don't have to have very many acres in the spring per head. 
middle of the summer, hot, dry conditions, you better have bigger paddocks ready. Also ground. I mean, some soils here in Arkansas, some soils grow better than others. Arkansas seems like it grows better grasses than, you know, other states. But other states grow better grasses than Arkansas. It, so it all depends on your soil. So there's not a set number, so it all depends. So what we're doing right now, these pins are about 700 foot long that way. And we're roughly doing 150 to 200 foot uh, spacings here. And we're leaving them on that in about two days. Just like I said, right now, trying to get this cleaned up better. So the smaller the paddock, the more you're gonna make them eat what you want them to eat, everything down, versus a big paddock where they're gonna go around choosing, picking what they like, what, what tastes better. There's old Bruce back there. Emily's Lucy cow. All right, so the last one to calve is one of the ones that we call Crazy Cuckoo Mama. So we don't know what's gonna happen here, trying to get her and her calf across with the rest of the cows. All right, we're back at the house. That did not go quite as I'd planned. We didn't get any footage of her because we went down on that one end to try to push her through that end. She ended up busting out of the woods and going all the way back up there to where we let all the others through. So she is so far away we couldn't get any footage of her and her calf. Maybe we'll get that here shortly, but like I said, she's a little crazy. She don't want you anywhere around her and her calf. So we just let them through, come on back to the house. I know Lane is super, super excited about those Gallagher uh, tumble wheels. They look like they are gonna be amazing, work awesome. We'll inform y'all later on another video of uh, what we think about them after we've used them for a while. I know they were super easy to put together, super easy to hook the wires on them. And what little I did move them, looks like they're going to work great. So thank y'all for hanging out with us. If you're interested in them Gallagher wheels, down in the description below, there's a link to Gallagher. Um, there's a uh, coupon, VWFF10. If you're interested in buying something like that, chargers, wire, post, anything. Uh, just look at that, uh, click on that link down there, shop their website and see what all you can come up with. I know all the products that we've used from Gallagher have been top notch. We appreciate them. We appreciate y'all for following along on us on this journey. It is all really coming together. Cannot wait to be able to offer fresh grass fed beef, pasture raised pork. Uh, we even looking at going pretty big on chickens later. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. And until next time, God bless.